Hey guys, this is in 1014, playthrough on Sonic Colors. So we're going to get started. We shall choose new game. And a navigator. I guess if you want a navigator. And I guess I could turn it on. Sure, why not? And really, are at at the first level already? Okay. Usually Sonic games start out with a cutscene, but okay, sure. So our controls, you can jump, push B in midair to do this boost thing. But if you have click what I just did, you can uh, get some boost from those white wisps. Jump, homing attack, that's uh, controls, basic Sonic stuff. You can homing attack, which is pretty nice. You can boost to track rings, which is pretty nice. Jump. It's uh, basic stuff. It's pretty simple. Stomp in midair to uh, do that. Or press X while in midair to do that. To do that. I'm going to run right through all this as I can. You know. This is a normal Sonic game. You know. Tap A right here for after that. More boosting. Because this is a pretty good Sonic game. How much you gonna bet that, you know, Aaron is gonna be like, oh my god, I freaking hate Sonic. You all get it, Aaron. I freaking hate Sonic. Well, on the other hand, I like Sonic. You know, because Sonic is nice, you know? Oh, we got another one of these. Okay, tap A. This is so simple. All I gotta do is just tap A. Unlike in Sonic Unleashed, where you have to just push these combination of buttons. I guess I can explain these uh, red rings that I'm collecting. Those are for later. For now, uh, yeah, I collected them. Red rings. They're scattered throughout each level. You can only get, um... I think you can only get three in these levels right now. Because, uh, there are some special, uh... Power-ups that you need to, uh, Get the others. So this is, here's a new thing. Get to, uh, break your score. Well, it doesn't really do anything, but... Except getting, getting you lives, but that's, uh, pretty much it. Okay, act two. Nothing else, just cutscenes. No cutscenes. Maybe later. They're later. Okay. So I guess we get another, another, uh, you know, another level to play. More boost. Hey, red wing. And rings. Rings are nice. I'm going to uh, boost more. Because boosting is fun in Sonic. On the attack. It's another thing. Okay. That's uh, new. That's later in the game. That's also later in the game. These uh, colored capsules that are uh, invisible. Like, uh, they're not solid for us to collect. So, uh, those are for later. Right now, it's just uh, running and platforming. Jump over that. Might want to, or else I'll it'll mess you up. It'll make you trip. It's uh, perfectly fine to get hit by it. You can also double jump too, which is pretty nice. Just press A twice in midair. Or on these things. Get a red ring, which is nice. More rings. Yay. Homing attack. Homing attack. Homing attack. Homing attack. Homing attack. Yay. Must be a better way to do all this, because I don't know. Because those crystals look suspicious. Let's see what's back here. Wait, I saw some. Red ring. Collect. Thank you. We. So we got a lot of red rings, you know? Red rings are nice. So there's not really much in this part, because it's just play me, me playing the first level, and that's it. Here's your 1-ups, those uh, capsule things. It's uh, another basic thing about Sonic, you get these capsules which give you lives. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the Eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is going to want to come here. No doubt, but now I'm not sure why we're here. 
This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True. It would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Wow! Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people. Buckle up as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun. I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh, man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. Look, you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. about it makes my head feel like it wants to. Huh? Oh, Your voice chip is stuck on cowboy again. Stop talking and net those aliens. You got it, partner. Come on, here you little farmers. Come back here. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Whoa! About time there was a cutscene. Oh, well, let's see here. Um, guess we have to make a file. Okay. Hey, cream. Okay. Um. See here. Then yeah, why not? I'm just gonna name it LP. Whatever. Let's see here, we got Sonic, Tails, Eggman, Cubot, Orbit, Orbot. That thing. Okay. Here's some bees. Whatever. There's me. Ugly Kooky. Then yeah, why not? I guess I could, I could use my me. Since it's not hurting anyone. Here's our map. Options. It's nothing really. I can turn on the rumble feature for my GameCube if I want. But I really don't like uh, turning on rumble for stuff. There's our cutscenes. We only have one unlocked. This is the one we just watched. Why would you bother? Here we have uh, online stuff. Our friend code. X's. For whatever reason, yeah, I guess you get a friend code after you beat the game or something, I don't know. But enough with the options menu. Just that, Sonic Simulator. Here's the... Yeah, as Eggman said, you can play a uh, multiplayer here, if you want. Not where I'm showing these off right now. Oh, you can actually play them right now. Didn't mean to click it. Dang it. Don't wanna do that. Cause I plan on doing this after the game. So for now, uh, enough diddle dallying. Going back to the travel resort. Yeah, I just thought I would, uh, play what they say, what Eggman says there. So anyways, here we have the hub world. It's uh, kind of like new Super Mario Bros. setup. Just move to different levels. Here's our two levels that we beat. Here's a new level that we can go to, but it has that uh, thing over it. So we might as well play it. Act 3 of the Tropical Resort. So we're running. Quick step. Let's see what this is. Okay, quick tap mood. Move left and right to dodge obstacles. 
Okay. So that's your navigator. I'm gonna do that, because I can. And that. And here's Red Ring. And here's a uh, Wisp. These are called the Sign Wisps. What they usually, what they do is, um, I guess I can uh, use them later. But for now, um, I'm going to only use it when I need to. They even See, they even give you one there. So there's another red ring there. Is, uh, yeah. You can slide by pressing X, which is nice. And that uh, thing went to sleep. Yeah, when it does that, then uh, it means uh, not in a really good spot to use it. Here's one good spot. First, I gotta kill these enemies first. Because, you know, for points. So I use laser! That just screams shoop to whoop reference. I, I don't know why. It just really does. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Dang it. Pretty sure there's something up there. Maybe if I go back, I can uh, see if I can get another sign wisp. Guess not. Oh well. So I'm gonna have to keep going. 2D. Nice. I guess I forgot how to... Like, yeah, you just press the Z button to use it. Speaking of like control controls, you can also use the Wii Remote alone, the Nunchuck, and the Classic Controller, but they have uh, different co controls, but right now I'm using the GameCube controller. Because I, I, I like using the GameCube controller for this game. It's uh, pretty good. Because if you use the Wii, the Wii Remote, like just uh, Wii Remote or Nunchuck, doesn't really uh, f like th it's not really that good because you have to shake the Wii Remotes in order to use the Wisps, and uh, sometimes it doesn't really respond that good when you're using it. Just collecting more stuff, like, wi or, like rings and white wisps, wisps, wisps. Sorry for stuttering. Okay, there's there's that spring that went me up. That would bring me up. So I can use laser. And this. So I guess I can go over why I chose Sonic Colors as my next playthrough. You know, to celebrate Sonic's 20th anniversary. Because I can't wait for Sonic Generations. Because it's uh looks pretty good actually. Cause um what this game did is um it actually broke the Sonic cycle. What's called is like Sonic Cycle, which Sonic Cycle, what, what it is, is that it's basically like a cycle, which is um, where fans get excited for a Sonic game, they see trailers for it, get excited, then when it finally comes out, it's uh, crap. For whatever reason. Which is not very good, but Sonic Colors is actually a pretty good game, it actually broke it. Pretty happy it did. I'm pretty sure Generations would do the same. If it did, then that'd be very nice. I'm just taking the time because I, because I'm already taking like three minutes to beat this level. Well, the reason why is because I'm trying to find everything. Okay, there's the red ring. Okay, that's good. There's the alternate ring, right there. Got an A rank. Nice. I'm going to have to come back to some of these levels later. Because, um, you know. So that's about it. One thing you can do is, um, you can press Z to try again if you want. In case if you didn't get a good rank. Or not. So, uh, those things are, they're assigned wisps. Since you've beaten the level with it, the air access, they're, they can be accessed in any levels, which is, uh, very nice. So, uh, you know what, since we uh, got through the first three levels in this game, I think this is going to be it for Sonic Colors, so uh, to next time for part two of Sonic Colors, we're going to Act 4.